cowboys are secretly frequently fond of each other. Let's talk about Orville Peck and Willie Nelson's cover of a cover of a cover of a cover. That's right, this is not a Willie Nelson song like I thought back in the day. Then I felt like a hipster when I figured that it was a Pansy Division song, but it wasn't their song either. <laughs> Lost Dakotas did it before the Pansies and Ned Sublet did the Brokeback song before anybody else. <laughs> Let's stop doing that. I fell in love with Willie Nelson's version of the song back in 2009 when Willie whipped it out on his Long Highway album. Pretty close to Orville Peck's new version. Very similar. And I love both versions, but I'm still getting used to the new, slightly different instrumentation. I was so happy to see Orville Peck pop up on a friend's timeline on Facebook, and I was quick to praise the original in the comments. And I had to watch it immediately to see if the lyrics were still intact. This song features one of the most well-timed and effective, 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 the most effective expletive, expletive, expletive I've ever heard. I was gonna fucking say it in this video, but I don't wanna ruin the surprise. This song is unique and slips a slippery slope with different audiences. As far as I can see, Ned Sublet is straight. Willie Nelson is straight. Pansy Division, uh, likely covered this because of the sheer ridiculousness of the lyrics and figured it if it's offensive to their audience all the more better all the more punk rock This is a slippery slope. This is a song about cowboys being gay and it's written from a straight man's perspective But the attitude of the song isn't making fun of the cowboys or the lesbians that it speaks of it's kind of outing them in a positive light somehow. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the cowboys are gay, treat them with respect. It's a very bizarre combination approach to a topic that I would have never thought about because while I do live in the South, I don't really know any cowboys. Uh, I've certainly never um, known any cowboys. Orville Peck. He's, uh, he's duetting the song with the much older Willie Nelson here in 2024. And Willie's sounding a little bit older on the track, but it's still well done. His vocals are still really great and has Orville Peck singing the song and making a video for it. Bloody! I did just see an interview, a really good interview with or Orville Peck about his new duets album that this is featured on. And he did talk a little bit about the origins of the song. It was written with Willie Nelson in mind because it's kind of that style of song. But the songwriter would see all these cowboys going into the, uh, the, the bars. Um, and he just thought it was funny, uh, a funny observation. Um, and like I said, the Willie Nelson version has been around and it's an mp3 that I've held on to tightly over the years and its novelty goes beyond humor and it's really just a great song it's a great statement about society and it just sounds freaking good it's got all the elements of of a perfect song Orville's uh, take on it has vocals that are warm and full and his delivery is tight red in the cheeks Willie Nelson's version is an old standard for me and I've heard the other versions going around before, but they never really clicked. This one, again, I'm still getting used to the instrumentation, but this one's clicking. Orville really does the song justice in this five out of five cover and probably the most popular version of the song by a gay artist. No offense, Pansy Division.